in chapter 9 of 1 Corinthians, Paul here is talking about his right as an apostle. He says when the, the other apostles go on visits to other churches like Jesus brothers, James, Joseph and the others and Peter, they go with their wives and every church that they go to, they are being accorded hospitality. He said, but they feel, they think like he and Barnabas are not worthy of the same courtesy. He said, we are. I am an apostle the same way as them. I saw Jesus the same way as them. He said, does um, an, an army provide for his own needs, like his own helmet, his own uniform? He said, no, it's, they are provided for. Does a, a farmer grow his crops and not eat out of it? Does a, a, a farmer milk the cows and not drink out of the milk? You know, he said, um, when you work at the pulpit, you eat from the pulpit. Even the priests, they were told, commanded to eat out of the sacrifice that was brought to sacrifice to God. And uh, the law of Moses says, do not muzzle an ox while it is treading the fields. Allow it to eat. It says, but I, I provide for my own uh, needs. When I come, any church I go, I have to work with my hands. I'm a tent maker so that I can eat. I can provide for my needs. The church doesn't do anything for him, you know, which just made me think about um, somebody posted on Instagram because when I make my long form video, I then post a clip of it on Instagram and TikTok and say the full video is on my YouTube channel, The Bible with Tina. And someone posted on Instagram, the love of money has taken you over. You always say we should go and watch the full video on, on YouTube. He's going to unfollow me because he thinks I'm making money from YouTube. My channel is not monetized. You need 4K public watch hours in a year to be monetized on YouTube. I haven't even got 3K. This channel is going on six years. I'm only doing this because I'm passionate about teaching the word of God. If I wasn't, I would have given up ages ago. It's now that I'm uh, winding down because I don't want to start jumping shark. I think I have pushed it for as far as it can go. And I don't want to start teaching other irrelevant topics. That's why I'm thinking that, okay, maybe I will close the channel down. Nothing to do with money. I'm not monetized and I have spent a lot of money on this channel. One lady also saw my husband. Your wife is making so much money on YouTube, but she doesn't want to come and spend money in our shop. I'm not making a penny. From YouTube I am just doing this out of the love of the gospel so this is what like um, Paul was saying that he qualifies he has the right to he hasn't asked for it but he has the right to do it which um, Nehemiah also said that he's a governor there are some rights but he doesn't want to place a burden on the people so instead of taking from them he's spending out of his own pocket his own money to entertain his guests is there in the book of Nehemiah. So these are the things that Paul is saying in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And my husband also, he's a pastor. And um, when, uh, after Christmas, when he comes home, I says, okay, what did you, what were you giving? He's barely giving anything. Maybe one or two people will give him something and that's it. And I'm thinking, he has sown this uh, spiritual seed in the members for a whole year. And just that one day, people can't appreciate and give him gifts. I think it's wrong, personally. He doesn't mind, but I think it's wrong. You know, just once a year, give your pastor an appreciation gift. and say, Pastor, thank you. Paul says here that if I'm sowing spiritual seed in your life, am I not uh, entitled to receive a physical reward back from you. So these are what he was saying in um, 1 Corinthians 9, because he wasn't being looked after. Um, I don't know why he was being treated differently. Maybe because he did not walk with Jesus, as some of them were saying, who gave him this authority, who, you know, who, how is he entitled to, to teach what he's teaching? And he's saying that he did see Jesus, and he is an apostle, and he was called by God. It's not him who went into this, he was called. You know, remember, he was on his way to destroy the Christians when Jesus appeared to him. 
and that's why he's doing this he said but i thank god at least none of you can say that it's because of money i'm doing this i can now boast that i brought the gospel to you free of charge you know but that does not mean that you should not look after your pastors it doesn't mean that you cannot give your pastor a gift you know is their entitlement if they are if they are sowing spiritual seed into your life once a year that's not too much give them something appreciation thank you pastor look after your pastors and then he also talks about when athletes are getting ready for an event they train heavily and they all run but only one wins the prize so he said that you should run so you can win and then you can get a heavenly reward the athletes they they train so hard and they and the prize they get is perishable it's a temporary award but you're going to get a spiritual and everlasting award so you should train don't be like somebody who is boxing the air run so you can win the race and he also he's running his race he doesn't want on that day that he has uh, preached to others and they have entered the kingdom of god and then he loses it he misses out so he also is still running the race and this is 1 corinthians chapter 9 and it's very windy and cold god bless you